Hey, we're Brandon and Vanessa, and we're here with your market update for Rockland, California for quarter one of 2024. Let's get started with for sale versus sold. What we've noticed in the first couple months is we've seen more houses hit the market every single month, and that would be normal. But if you look at this time last year, that wasn't the case. The, the number of houses being listed was going down. Let's start in January. January, we had 55 houses for sale, February 60 and March 79. So it does lag a little bit. We don't have April's numbers yet, but this is just for quarter one anyway. So this will kind of give you an idea of where the market's heading. So pendings is, they're increasing. And we went from 50 in January, 49, a little bit of a little tiny dip in February. And then we're going back up to 54 in March. And then and Seoul's 39, 37, 52. We're heading in an upward trajectory, which is good for the market. Now, I think my take on this is, even though we're seeing more houses listed, it's still actually less houses for sale over the first three months than last year. It is so competitive out there. We're seeing multiple offers. We're seeing people appraisal gaps. We're seeing people offer more money than what the house is listed for and agreeing to pay the difference. The competitiveness in the market is, is huge right now. That's what we're seeing. The average price per square foot is increasing. And in March, we're actually seeing an increase from last year in March. It is still increasing and that's good for sellers because you're getting more money for your house. Average price per square foot last year in, in uh, March, $321. This year, $347. So a $26 jump. You're gonna have some smaller houses, some larger houses, but overall, it's just nice to know that that number is still going up. If you're a home seller thinking of selling, uh, it's continuing to rise. And then we have also have a sold price versus list price. But what that is, is uh, what the house is listed for originally versus what it actually sells for at the end of the day. It varies all the time. Sometimes it's 100%, sometimes it goes down as low as 94, like last year. The beginning of last year, it was like 94, 97%. But right now, we seem to be pretty pretty solid, pretty consistent, right in at 99%. Houses are selling of 99% of what they're listed for. So that includes all the houses that are overpriced, that have to be reduced, and the houses that have multiple offers and are selling for more. Days on Market, I think, is actually pretty interesting just because it has gone down drastically since last year this time. So we're at 35 average days on market. And last year we were at 50. That's a two week difference in 15 mm -hmm. days. My take on this is some, some people see 35 days and they say, that's a lot. But you have to understand when you have houses that are like ready to go, they're moving ready, they're clean, they're in a good location. Maybe even this time of the year, they have a pool. Those houses are moving so fast. We've just listed some houses recently where we list it on a Thursday, we have three, four, five offers to review on Monday. And we're seeing that come back again, where we're having multiple offers on every house that we list. It doesn't mean that your house is gonna sit on the market for 35 days. It could be three, four, seven days in a lot of cases. All right, let's check out the average price for sale uh, versus the, and the sold price. Uh, we don't really look at the average sales price in general. In, in this graph, what you'll see is it just varies a lot and it just took a huge dip. But that's every house that's for sale. So that's not really gonna carry as much weight as the actual sold price. Uh, Cause we can see that we can actually see the data and see where the market's heading with the sold price because anyone can list, uh, list a house for any price they want. So let's talk about the sold price over the past few months. Um, so it looks like what we started at a low, even just all the way in December, we are at 703. And now it's this upward trend all the way to 882, but we are having a little bit of a dip, but it's still higher than where we were just three months ago. Right, there was only one month last year where it was higher than it is now. So it's 843,000, the average sold price of houses in Rockland. And that is gonna vary depending on the time of the year, the type of houses that sell. But Rockland has a wide range of, of different types of houses. So, you know, kind of watch that. I think that's just a good overall picture of the value of houses in Rockland. Lastly, let's talk about months of inventory. So, but before we do that, months of inventory is really a good gauge on where the market's heading how competitive it is, and if you will be competing with other buyers. So I'd say the big difference is last year, we were down to one uh, one month of inventory. We were now up a little bit to 1.5 months of inventory. So, you know, that that is showing that there's a little bit more available, but not much. Yeah, it's still, it's there's still not enough houses to meet demand. 
And if you if you were to look back at the first sale, the first the first numbers we talked about, the homes that were active, pending, and sold, you can see the pending number rising. As you do that, less houses as the houses close, there's less houses available. So one and a half is still an extreme seller's market. If you are thinking about selling your house, I mean, I think our expert recommendation would be to list it before school gets out. In summertime, you have the most competition. So in the next month or so, if you were already preparing your house, get it on the market as soon as possible. Summer's fine too, but uh, I think you'll have a little less competition, more buyers looking, you know, because everyone's going to be looking in the summertime. If you've been thinking about selling your home in 2024, then your next best step is to get your home selling score. Now, what is a home selling score? It's actually a five minute quiz that will tell you exactly what you need to do so your house is seen on the, as the best buy on the block. So get your home selling score now. It's completely free. It only takes five minutes and it'll get you started and on the path to selling your home in 2024. Links below.